big crypto and, and Bitcoin. Um, just, everything seems to be going wrong at once. We've got uh, this three arrows hedge fund crash, the, the Celsius debacle, um, price really moving down hard and um, – a lot of people asking questions, is, is this the the end of Bitcoin or is this a really good opportunity to get in and buy? So I'm just going to have a quick look at what I think will happen here. I um, Looking at the chart, here's the weekly chart. So if we see these kind of big support levels where I mean, we'll go back to the 28,000 level where we did see a lot of support, consolidation, a burst through, a bunch of stops get taken out, um, a quick rally as the as a block of buying, buying came in, consolidation, and then a drop again. Now, the obvious place for the next levels, I think, for support, if we look at um, the previous cycle highs going back 2017 down to June 2019 there. Now, this is the area where you've seen it tested already um, over the weekend uh, and some buying came back in to push it back up. This is the area I th I think this, this previous cycle high in 2017 will be the capitulation if there's a big push, push through it um, and the cycle high from 2019 will be the major support. Now, what I think will happen going forward is we'll probably see some similar price action to uh, back in May where tested through the very big support, came up, consolidated. We've done the same down here, pushed through. Block of buying came back in early this week and, and we're sitting right now on this very important um, support level. Now, it's important to remember there's, uh, last I saw, was around 49% of um, the circulation of Bitcoin was in profit. And the last kind of bottoming out to the market we've seen are between that 40 and 50. So I think there's a little bit way to go. And I think that a few of the weak hands still need to be flushed out um, in this area here. And if you look at, um, I think... A famous Warren Buffett quote, quote I'll say, is, is, is to be greedy when others are fearful and, and fearful when others are greedy. And I think crypto and Bitcoin especially um, are really good markets for that that motto there. So for looking at that, there's a couple of things in the news that have made me think there's one little push down and this could be it. Um, I'll just bring up a couple of links I've seen. Now, the first is a ProShares Bitcoin, ET, uh, short Bitcoin ETF this week's being released. Now, if you have a quick look at the article, you can see that eight months ago, um, they came out with a long BTF, uh, long Bitcoin ETF, which was on October 19th. And having a look at that date on the chart, um, interestingly enough, and I class I class ETFs as um, I guess the dumb money, the, the, whatever the flavour of the day is, they get in, they're trying to attract um the retail crowd in and quite often you'll see if we go look at uh right there it was it's almost pick the top within a couple of weeks of it now i think something similar happened now like as the as the dumb money retail flow really came in long when that etf came out um i think something very similar will happen down here we'll see a little bit more of a push down as the um the retail crowd get into this short uh bitcoin etf which is i mean all you're seeing at the moment is doom and gloom on uh, in all the <clears throat> media or the tabloids about Bitcoin and people going broken, etc. So whenever you see that, start to see that, it's a pretty good contrarian signal um, that when the um, the herd is one direction and everything, everyone thinks it's going to go one way, the market quite often will do the exact opposite. So my take is that going from the recent break of the strong support at 28, um, the the sign of the ETF being released, and also I think that the major support will be this high in 19, not not the one in 2017, but that'll be the psychological level um, where we'll see a bit of capitulation around here, and then I think um, you'll see a, a consolidation, and I, I reckon that will be the bottom there. Now, what we have seen this selling as well is as a lot of the the new retail traders are basically being cleared out in this drop, and um, there's a lot of accumulation from miners and fr from the big whale wallets. So, going forward, that's my prediction. We'll see it jump in here, take out a few more hands, get the capitulation we need, um, and from there, you know, we could see it really head up again. I don't think it's over for Bitcoin just yet.